Nick Buckley, what about the personality of Nigel Farage? What do you think he has to do in order to become prime minister? And can he? Oh, that's that's a hell of a question. Um, what I've no idea. Yeah, I'm sure he's got a better idea than me what he needs to do. Um, I'm not a politician. I think if I was going to give him any advice, it's all about how do we, how does he connect to the average Brit in the UK? Because the average person I speak to is sick of all politicians, is sick of all political parties. We've been lied to for at least, well, for generations, but definitely for 30 years. Um, Keir Starmer is just the, the latest person in this long line. And the only way Keir Starmer is different is he does, he's either not clever enough, which I doubt, or he doesn't care about the mask anymore now. He's ripped the mask off and he's saying to the people, I'm here, there's nothing you can do about it, and it's my way or the highway. Our last five politicians have been exactly the same. Our last five members of um, prime ministers have been exactly the same, but they would didn't have the cojones to say that mm. to the British people. So I think Nigel Farage needs to connect with the average people because they want something different. They want to be patriotic. They don't want to be called far right. They just want a better life. And it doesn't take much to give us a better life. Russell, are you a fan of Farage? I, I am. Um, I, I think Farage is our new Thatcher. Uh, you mentioned Thatcher previously. That might be the real reason that Keir Starmer's taken her portrait down. I don't think we any of us buy into this bunkum that it's because her portrait is staring down at him. If that is true, it's because he's probably um, ashamed of what he's doing and knows that if he were to face Thatcher across the ballot box, uh, the uh, dispatch box these days, I mean, that would be a sight, wouldn't it? Uh, he'd be absolutely destroyed by Thatcher. And I think he fears Farage as the new Thatcher. And what I mean by that is not just the fact that they share very, very similar principles. And, and let's be clear, Dan, Farage is not this kind of, you know, this this extremist, this far right um, individual that, of course, the mainstream media would have us believe. If you look at everything that the Reform Party is saying, everything that Farage has said, everything that was in that contract with the public in the run-up to the July the 4th election, there's nothing in there that wouldn't have been in the Conservative Manifesto of 1979. So re reform, in my view, and I say this as a proud Thatcherite, uh, reform, in my view, are conservative. Um, of course, the previous Conservative government was not very conservative, and that's what Keir Starmer is concerned about. But but to kind of answer Nick, Nick's question or expand on Nick's answer a little, I think that the Reform Party are new. They don't have much in the way of ground support. I think they have some very, very talented people amongst them, you know, particularly, I mean, Richard Tice, Ben Habib, mm -hmm. um, you know, we can go on and on. Um, obviously, that would expand. There'll be more defections. There were actually two defections from the Conservative Party on South End City Council. Yes, I've last. got them on later two in the show. Oh, are they? Oh, fantastic. Yes, for an exclusive interview. So I can't wait to hear about why they oh, so, so, so defected. There'll be a lot more of that. So, but I think they need ground support. What, what, what I saw where I live in Brentwood and Essex, which is a very conservative constituency, was that the Conservatives traditionally have lots and lots of people out there to knock on doors and canvas and leaflet. Reform didn't have that. So I think Nick's right about connecting with the public, but I think if the public want change, and I know we overuse this word, we always need change, don't we, based on the current regime. But I think if we really, really want to save Britain from being completely destroyed, frankly, as it yes. may well be over the next two or three years, as we lurch back to the 1970s, I think people have got to get out to physically help reform on the doorsteps. We've got to get the message out there. We've got to get leaflets. Now, when I say we, you know, I, I'm not suggesting for a second that I'm necessarily a died in the wall reform party member or activist. But if we want there to be an antithesis to the Labour Party and its extreme left approach, but also a very, very insipid Conservative Party that are largely irrelevant now as far as the electorate are concerned, yeah. um, then people have got to get out there and help the reform party on the door, doorsteps. Did you enjoy that video? I think you did. Come on now, hit that bell, subscribe, comment. Let's build this channel. I need more followers. I need more subscribers. Be part of the journey. See you soon.